Welcome back to Carolina Ruck Cuddles. Today's episode, we're doing a long tone review on the Wolverine X4. The reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people keep asking about it, want to know some more about it, how long have I had it, and this. I've had it for about four years, <clears throat> and I'm going ahead and putting a little extra in the front of this. This is not the actual video, I've already recorded the video, but I'm missing stuff, so I'm putting a little extra in the beginning to go ahead. First off, I miss the specs. The specs are pretty simple, it's an 847 cc parallel twin dual overhead cam yada 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 cranking in about 69 horsepower to give you a little reference the uh, pioneer 1000 you know the one you would probably go against it has 72 horsepower so it's around the same yes the pioneer has a little more top end power and has just a little bit more speed but in the low end and mud and stuff the wolverine is actually way better something about the uh uh, the Honda Pioneer 1000, it does not like low end mud. It hates low end. Like you would think a gear transmission would work better, but it didn't. So then we got ground clearance on the Wolverine. It's 11.5. It don't have a lot of ground clearance. That's why I went ahead and put t bigger tiles on it. And uh, that's, I think that's about it. I just wanted to do a long tone review. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you want to know anything else, leave me a comment below because I will answer everything you want to know about this thing, guys. I've had for five deals. I've never broken anything. I've heard some people say they broke axles. I haven't even had an axle rip a boot yet, and my, my two uh, front guards are gone. So I don't know how they broke them. I ain't saying that it's their fault, but the, everybody I know is like me. They send it, and none of us have broke it. So I hope to see y'all later. I hope you enjoy this video. We are going to do a review of the uh, Wolverine X4. Well, a four year review, because I keep getting asked a lot of questions about it and little things. So today it's going to be the good, the bad, and the what the f were they thinking. Okay, so we're going to get into this. The fourth thing, oh, we also have some secrets. There's some stuff I did not know when I bought this thing. So we'll, first off, we'll start with some secrets because I didn't know this. And nobody t tells anybody this. The dealership didn't tell me. But it's these right here. It's these little plugs. You guys know them? Another one right here. They're actually... Uh, Let's get it. So these plugs, the same ones that go under those little holes there. But nobody told me this. These things fill full of water. And I swear to you guys, I was like, what in the crap? You think Yamaha would have thought of that? And they did, but the first time I rode it and it got mud water in there, it just filled those up with dirt and I didn't even uh I didn't even know they were there. So that was one thing that I didn't know. They didn't tell me. So let's go with some other things. Here's a here's kind of a bad, but kind of a nice, kind of a mix. Is these shoulder bolsters right here in order to get in look at that small hole i'm a big man so when you get in you gotta lean forward and then sit down and then they're right there in your way but i can say if you watch last week's video i'll go ahead and put it right here okay come on baby you got this don't get me stuck now whoa whoa oh shit we're on our side. I tipped this thing over almost completely, and this thing is what kept me from falling out. I am not gonna lie, guys. That thing saved my, that thing kept me, my arm from going out. So it has a pulpit, but it's so aggravating to get in. Let's not even talk about the back seats. Like, I can get in, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, you can get, it's getting in and out. Once you get there, it's fine. You're comfortable. Okay, so something else that a lot of people don't like, and possibly don't bother me, is the top speed. The top speed is 50 mile an hour. It doesn't bother me. I'm all, I barely go 25 most time. And honestly, I don't know why people don't want to go faster. I mean, I understand why. You go to fire roads, you have to go faster. But for me, it's just I don't have to go any faster than that. The next thing is here's a secret a lot of people didn't know about. I didn't find this out until my oil video. But that's this. This little packet right here, which we all have. If you haven't knew, um, there it is. Uh, this, the sport is the thing to get sport plug out. And you might think, well, that's normal. Yeah, but uh, honestly, normally I just get the, uh, I just use uh, my regular uh, socket. A socket will not go in there. You have to use that. <clears throat> and I, I really like how this comes off, comes right off. Got the L fiddle. You got my rasp nest for the uh, winch. The winch went right up there. You got everything, all the fuses up here, the radiator cap. Look how, look how easy that is to get in there to the radiator. You can't say that is not good. Like, I've all had other vehicles you had to take half the vehicle apart to get to it. That's a really good design. Then you got the tiles. I, I did the tiles that will stock on it. 
they weren't that good. They roared, and they said these don't roar, but they're definitely better. They, the old ones did not walk very well. They did their job, but they were small, so I put 28 Outlaw 2s. Uh, there was no lift. You can see it, uh, it doesn't rub. I, I guess you can see there's no rub. See how the paint's not gone there? So it does no rub, and they'll pump up to, as tight as they can. You can see back here, all the little spots. So it's it the 28s fit perfectly. Of course, you got to remember every set of 28s is different. Just because this set of 28s is fitting, don't mean let's say carnivores are gonna fit. There's such thing as true 28s, and some run low, some run high. You gotta look into that. You gotta do your own homework when it comes to that. I think Max's uh, carnivores are a little bit taller, so you have to actually uh, go ahead and make sure you get a lift for that one. We got the EMP bumper with a Viper winch. I put this on aftermarket. I love the thing. I'm telling y'all, take the bumper off, put that bumper on. It, it keeps the winch way out of the... Broke no tie rods, axles are the same. I do need to put new guards on it. I broke both guards on the same week at Busco. So that was not good. It's kind of funny because I heard a crack in it. If you go watch, I think it's a lat, Busco part five, you hear me go, what in the world was that cracking? And it was that. Now here's something else that's really cool about these is that they have these tie down spots for your uh for your uh ratchet strap goes through here through there through there through here and it helps tie it down it works amazing the receiver hitch i don't know if they meant to do this but this right here works good for a hook you just put it right in these little holes here hook your hook to it hook it to the machine problem solved i love that about it now here's some things now a lot of people will ask okay so what, why did I choose this over the Pioneer 1000? Because I was looking at the Pioneer 1000. It was a machine I really looked at a lot. That was the machine I was going to get because this wasn't out yet. At the time, it was the it was that, the T-Rex. And as much as I like the T-Rex, the T-Rex, I always forget the name. Um, it was, it's outdated. The horsepower numbers are getting lower and lower because they think it's going up. So I went to go look at the Pioneer. So the first thing I didn't like about the Pioneer was the seats. A lot of people will complain and tell me I'm crazy about this, but the seats on the Pioneer were way, 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 way uncomfortable. Like, and I'm not, and I'm used to walk seats. We have uh, Rangers, I rode in Defenders, I rode in every walk model. Even a mule to me rode, had a better, more plush seat. And next, another thing that I, I liked about this, another thing that really made me go for it, all this space. You can actually, you can see my, my stuff back here. You can fit a soft cooler back here. You can uh, put a lot of stuff in between here, in between there. If you have a Pioneer and the seats are folded up, none of this room is here. This is not here. All this back here is not here. You have no space. When the seats folded up, you're screwed. You can buy, yeah, you can buy the attachment for back for the tailgate and for that. But hey, my tailgate comes down too. So I really did like this. Plus these seats are more comfortable. Like if you, if you, I tell people, go look at the Pioneer, sit in the back seat. If you're just going to ride children and then over time you're going to upgrade when they get older, get their own, then it ain't the end of the world. But I bought this because you never know. I might have a family emergency and might never be able to get another side by side. So I wanted to make sure I could fit full grown adults back here. And my adult friends who are like six, five and plus, they don't have a problem sitting back here. They, they hate, they're like I said, they hate getting in here. But other than that, it's not the end of the world. Look at all this junk, got toys and stuff. Kids, guys, kids. So that's, that's just something you got to remember. Plus the Pioneer, I, I don't like the gear shift on the Pioneer. The, 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 the gear transmission is great for small four wheelers like my 300 and 350. But a lot of people I've talked to with Pioneers, they bought the clutches out. And they always tell me the same thing. I wasn't dogging it. I was just easy going and it just boring out. And everybody's like, well, you got to be, it's just, it's, you don't know how you're driving. If you bring up the words reliable and then bring up the next words, if you do this it won't break it's no longer reliable this thing right here guys i'm telling y'all i have dogged it you've seen the videos i have sent it i put it in low and ride and never have i borne the belt off or nothing <clears throat> now here's some other good things i like about it it's a gear shifter you got little slots here the, the old polaris we know don't have those i hate it uh got got this that i love this thing got a lot of storage you got storage in here you got storage here. My lug nuts just fell off. <laughs> and then you got the nice L L uh, LCD screen. See it starting up. Now just let's see if you can see it. Yeah. The gl the wind the gl uh, yeah, the sun's glaring really bad today. Just listen how quiet that thing is. 
a lot of people are like that's like that might be loud to you but this is the quietest side by side i've ever been in or i've ever been around it does have the self-leveling shocks so when you put weight on it it'll uh, make up for that the only problem is it doesn't ride the best because of the self-leveling shocks but other than that i mean it's a good side by side okay guys so this is what i was talking about when you get in you gotta go up and then sit down and once you're in here you're good like i like i said earlier i almost flipped it and this thing kept me in you cannot fall out which it might be tight to some people i just sit like this but only problem is getting out you gotta pull yourself up go around the new ones have a little wider angle on the 2020s i think they made it a little wider it's a lot easier and the new and some of the new ones they gave you wider now this is another thing and it get in the back you have to lift yourself up <sighs> sit down and then you're good and you're in here come over here <laughs> <laughs> then you got this nice grab handle right here so you can grab on it's nice and soft got a little soft stuff you also got a uh auxiliary what is that right here you got an auxiliary down here so you can plug your phone in oh, I, I, <laughs> I did not know that was there until somebody was riding with me said there's a hole here i said what oh the auxiliary <sighs> Yeah, that's, it's, it's a little complicated to get out, but as long as you have a little up, upper body strength, even my wife here can do it. And then, like I said, you got all this room back here to put all your stuff in. Well, the Pioneer had no room once you put the seats down, so that was one reason why I picked this. I do got to fix the roof. The little rubble pieces have uh, deteriorated what sits outside a lot. Okay, so we also have a full skid plate. I don't, I'm, I guess you can see it. I can't really tell. Full metal skid plate, guys. Uh, it, it, I think it's metal. It might be plastic, but that thing looks amazing. Another thing I like is this. There's no guess what to this. You see that this little button is? Four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive diff lock. And now you got diff lock. Well, you got to wiggle it. I'm telling y'all, anybody who says a four-wheel drive system that does it for you is crazy. Diff lock is the best thing ever invented. Any vehicle with a manual diff lock is way better than an automatic diff lock. I don't care who says what, you're wrong. I mean, yes, the the auto, the, man, uh, the, the the diff lock like this does leave a lot of room to mess stuff up, but at the end of the day, it will walk way better. Like, I know how it walks. I don't have to wait for it to slip one time or do this. It does it when I tell it to. And as you can see, the cage, you got this little bar here. And this is something a lot of people a lot of people like and i like it too tailgate that's metal got nice hard things i've heard people say they're scared to sit on it i'm 230 pounds and i sit right on it and i've literally sat here for hours at a time so don't let people tell you that they'll, that you'd be scared of it single latch good you can also buy a toolbox to go back here if you wanted the toolbox and like me i when since i don't you can actually uh shove stuff here as you can see the trash here now but a lot of people will uh put stuff there i put like when i don't have kids and stuff i'll show you all right fast so for us we're gonna i'm gonna show you all how the uh, seats fold up okay so yeah so like this voila i got lots of mud in it so i've heard people complain saying if you got mud they won't walk oh okay so by the way it's not the it's not the mud that's stopping it the seat belt here where the where the kids got it trapped in there Kids, can okay. Ah, there you go. My kids been playing with my seat belt, so they got it stuck over there. So we lift up. Little latch here, you can feel it. Slide it up. You can see all that dot. People say that the uh, dot and stuff is gonna stop the tray and or the rail and this and that. But look at all this mud and dot in here. Still walks like the day I got it. Look at all that room. There's plenty of room. Now this is what I'm saying. Okay. Look at that. Now you just shove stuff in right here. And you got plenty of room. I, I ain't gonna lie, guys. It works wonderful for storage. I do it all the time. Now, in order to get to the oil and stuff, this is something I really don't like. You gotta pull these pull pins. There's one, two, and then they got them in the cup holder, or they're in the front. No, they're in the front. There's one right here in the front, and two on the other side. They do not like to go back in, so it's a pain in the butt. But, but I've heard other people say they didn't have trouble, so maybe it's just mine's a little crooked. But that thing walks like a pain in the butt sometimes. Then you got the nice grab handle, got a little hook here, or the little latches, pull that out, pull it out, put it in the slot, voila. You got the graphics, so this is a 2018, it's had for five years, 
So I think the question we're going to ask is, do I regret buying this thing? Would I buy it again? I would definitely buy this thing. It has 28 stock clutching. It is a mud machine. Y'all seen the videos? I'll put another video right here. Not stop this thing it is a beast and I, I love it it's a low end machine it's a low end tight woods machine for what i need it for it works now if they had the all max out would i buy this over the all max if i had the money i'd definitely buy the all max over this but mainly because you know more horsepower better it might not battle but i just like more horsepower i want as much horsepower as i can plus they you can fit really huge tiles with it and it's just that's just some, that's just me though. I personally, if I didn't, if I was trying to save money, I get this over to R Max because, and I get this over to Pioneer because of the things I said. The, to me, a belt transmission is better than a uh, than a, a gear transmission on these side by sides. Anybody who says otherwise, I mean, they I ain't saying they're wrong, but I've seen a lot of clutches go out in Pioneers. I have not seen not but one person on the entire Wolverine page say he will place the belt, and he will place the belt because he ended up getting water in it and drove, kept driving with it with water in it. Said he drove all day with water in it and said, screw it, he just kept letting it slip. I've never seen anybody just have a belt go out in one of these. The only problem is, snor I've heard snorkeling's a little hard, like you get the snorkels, but hey, tomato, tomato, it's, that's not the best thing, but we can, it's not that hard. That's, you're only gonna do that once, so it, it ain't no complaints. Other than that, guys, I, I personally love this thing. I, cho I think I made the right choice. I don't think I never look at it and go, man, I wish I had the pioneer. But in the end of the day, it's all up to you. What do you want? What do you want to use it as? What is this thing? This thing is a tight trail, a tight trail machine that has a lot of low end grunt. Is it a fast, a fast machine that's going to go 100 miles out on the road? No. But if you get this thing in the woods, I guarantee your buddy with the Razor four seater or uh, X3 four seater will not keep up with you. Heck, that uh. The Pioneer won't keep up with you because it's wider and bigger. It don't have the turning radius. This thing, this thing in the woods will show off. And like I went with my buddy with his Pioneer, and he could not keep up with me when I was in the woods because again, it's narrow. It has a good turning radius, best power steering, and best belt on, in the world. If you're scared of a belt, I, then don't be, guys. I'm sorry. People try to make people scared of belts, saying they're rebel bands. All you got to do is when you go in mud or do you do anything, put it in low. But the Pioneer is the same way. If you leave the Pioneer in high, the clutches are gone. They're not going to last. So this thing will actually last longer. The belt will last longer than the clutches will if you leave it in high. Just saying. So don't be scared of the belt. And like I said, you got the little holes down here that keep getting plugged in mine. But that's how you drain the water. I got a lot of gunk in there where I drove the other day. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I just did a little review. I figured it's a little off scale. This, people keep asking me questions about it. So I figured I would do as much as I could and go ahead and record a bunch of stuff with it. I mean, if y'all want to see more videos with the X3, let me know. I'll record all the videos, go mudding, we'll go hill climbing. Just let me know what you want to see. This is just a nice, simple review. No fluff, just kind of showing you what I think about it. I'm just a normal person, everyday guy, bought it because I wanted it. I ain't some guy who rides every side by side, so I don't get to argue like, oh, it's not as good as this one because I drove it. But I just want to let y'all know my review. Well, guys, guys, I hope to see y'all on the next one. Make sure you like, comment, and leave a subscription, guys. That tells me that y'all enjoying the video and it helps get the channel to grow. I I'm hoping to get to a thousand before long. I'm doing this channel because I enjoy it and I hope y'all enjoying it. So far, the views have been good. The likes have been good. So I'm assuming y'all are liking it. So I hope it continues. I hope y'all continue enjoying the stuff and I will continue making this stuff. As long as people like it, I will make it. So I will see y'all on the next one.